Hi everyone and welcome back to the farmhouse. I wanted to bring you along while I got started with my seasonal cleaning. I really want to get in there and get all the cleaning done, that deep, deep down cleaning that we sometimes overlook and the fall is just the perfect time to do that. Now because I was going to do this and I was running a little bit behind because of the harvest, uh, harvest was kind of late this year, so I'm a little behind, but I'm ready now to devote some time to indoors and getting things clean. So here are some sneak peeks of the room before I start cleaning and start doing some decorating at the end. Late is better than never. Here is the windowsill where the dogs always jump up and look out the window. It's very dirty and the walls are dirty and dusty and there's prints on them. And as you can see, these guys, I try to keep the sofas covered, but sometimes they're not. And these guys just uh, are not, not moving today. And so they're just always in and out and making a mess. I'm going to start with removing the curtains because we know they hold a lot of dust and dirt and it's going to let some outside light in to help me see all the better to clean with. And I'm going to next start with the furniture. While the furniture is drying, I can move on to do the rest of the cleaning. So I wanted to start here, get the sofa clean and then they can be put outside. The cushions will dry outside very nicely and then I'll move on to the rest of the room. While the furniture is drying, I am going to take down all the wall decor and the items from around the room so they can be cleaned and put away or put aside to be brought back into the room when the room is clean. Our walls are white and they tend to collect a lot of dust. We live in a rural area and between the dust and the cobwebs, they can be pretty dirty and look not as pretty white as they once were. 
So a good overall dusting and getting good into the corners and along the ceiling where those cobwebs tend to be is really good. It's good to do this before we wash, that way we're getting everything off and we're not smearing it in. So I'm just gonna go around the room and dust the walls, the blinds, and everything that uh, would hold dust and dirt before I start washing. I've decided to use my old cedar mop and bucket as my tool for cleaning and scrubbing the walls. These mop heads on these are cotton, so they're a little rough, but they're not rough. They're not going to damage or hurt the walls, but they're really good for scrubbing. I like that I can rinse and wring it out really well. I'm using a little bit of vinegar along with Mrs. Myers and the rosemary scent in the concentrator cleaner. That is my favorite scent. And it is one of those scents that is good in all seasons. It's springy, yet summery, wonderful in the fall and the winter because rosemary is an herb that we like the scent of in all those seasons. And it's just a, a great cleaner. I love Mrs. Myers because there isn't a dirty, gooey, greasy mess that she has not cleaned up for me. And so she's just my general all around cleaner, along with, of course, white vinegar and water. The two of them together are unstoppable for a great clean. And again, with white walls, it's hard to see on camera, but there is a huge difference as I'm going over the walls to remove what is on the walls of dust and dirt and debris and scuff marks, all of those things. It's really whitening the walls and it's really lovely. So I'm glad that I used the system to clean the walls with. And now we're going to be moving into cleaning around the windows and getting everything off the windowsill and we are going to start washing windows. Let me know down in the comment section of the video if you are one of those people who really enjoys washing your windows and having the beautiful clear windows or is it something you procrastinate and put off or is it something that you just pay somebody else or ask somebody else to do for you i really enjoy washing windows it's i've done it since i was a kid and it's always been something that i've enjoyed i don't mind washing windows i know that sounds silly because so many others really dislike washing windows I really like the clean and looking out the window and seeing how beautiful it is so I don't mind the work that goes into it and this window again I showed you earlier where this is where the dogs run and they jump up in the window to see who is here so there's always nose prints and paw prints and everything all over this window and so I will wash the glass of this window daily 
on the inside and weekly on the outside just because it's a big window and it gets a lot of bugs and all that debris uh, on it from the way that the wind blows also but I just really enjoy washing the window and seeing the beauty uh, the clean and the sun coming through and let me know if you're one of those people also or if you are no windows please so thank you
For my coffee table piece, I wanted to wrap this container. This is actually a utensil container from the kitchen, and I like to put flowers and things in it in the living room on the coffee table. But for fall, I just wanted to soften it up a little bit and make it a little more natural looking and blend. I'm using, as you can see, both the white neutral and the traditional fall colors. So I'm trying to blend them a little bit because I like both and I wanted to use both. So I thought this would be a fun way to soften the edges and make it more natural looking and then I can put some arrangement in it and have it blend better in the space. deep clean and decorate of the space took a couple days to do and so the curtains were down all that time while I was doing the work and once putting the curtains back up it really softened the room really warmed it up brought the cozy back and that's just the feeling you want for going into the fall and cooler months just that warm comfort now I'm bringing back uh, the window with the wreath and I changed out the wreath to a wreath that will last from now through Christmas and I kind of like the softness of this. This lamp goes on this crate and as you can tell we've talked about before that we have a lot of fur kids and we've rescued three in the past couple years and thought we were going to find homes for them but that just never happened and so we have a lot of fur kids and we have a lot of crates and everyone has their own bed and one of my attempts to make things better for everyone was to get better crates crates that looked better in the space as well that could double for furniture but bear's crate is so big you just can't do that and I don't mind because there's nothing else I would put in this space anyway it would just be a table so I softened it up with an old piece of um, drop cloth that I've bleached and softened and I put wood on top and then I decorate it and so this is soft you could see in the other frame when I was hanging up the curtains we did get a new crate 
because Abby will be repeating her surgery again soon and she has to be created for a long time. So we are trying to have better arrangements for them uh, and make it look better as well with a better aesthetic in the home as well as making sure they all have their same space. Now I'm moving on to putting some neutral flowers in back in the vases on this wall for the closet. And um, I don't know if you remember my Monica's Closet video, but that was a great design because the closet is still working out wonderfully. So when you find a perfect organization fit and it fits, it's wonderful. Now I'm bringing back my welcome sign. I love this sign. My daughter made it for me and it's not real fall. So I just wanted to have it blend with the vases on each side. So I'm just adding in a couple of flowers, stems and a couple of flowers. Now moving on to my shoe basket. That's what this is. I keep my extra shoes in there. And so I've added a blanket and some pumpkins. And then we're just going to soften everything with some warm and cozy throws to help soften. And I have to have a throw. I don't know about you, but it's an old farmhouse and I'm always cold. And just adding in the warmth and comfy is amazing. Well, here it is, friends. Deep cleaned, decorated, ready for the fall and cooler seasons. And I just want to thank you so much for coming along on this video and uh, please comment, say hello, happy fall, and tell me what your favorite part of fall is. Take care, be blessed, and I'll see you soon.